Hey, what's going on? My name is Jens and welcome on my YouTube channel Happy Mushrooms. Today I'm going to show you how to make grain spawn, like this year for example. Today we're going to do three different types of mushrooms. We have here's some king oyster mushrooms, some shiitake and some blue oyster mushroom. Let's do it. As substrate I'm using rye and I figured out that cooking the dry rye for about 25 minutes works perfect to add the right amount of humidity to our grain spawn. Then I'm sterilizing the grain spawn for about two hours in the outer clave, but that is part for another video. After that, we're ready to go to add the mycelium to our grain. A couple of weeks ago, I've created some spawn plugs to inoculate some locks in the garden. And I'm gonna use the rest of this experiment. And I'm also gonna work with some mycelium, which I grew on some agar dishes. Of course, you could also use some liquid mycelium, but this is not the topic of today's video. We're gonna focus on how to actually make this grain spawn bags. And the most important thing is keep everything as clean, sterile as possible. Therefore, I really spray a lot of isopropanol, which really helps to avoid any kind of contamination. And I also use a very simple laminar flow hood. I sterilize those bags at 15 psi for about two hours and then I leave them inside the autoclave because there's still some heat inside which maybe can kill some contamination which is still there. And after one day when the bags are cold, we're ready to go. And you should really check the heat before starting because when there is still too much heat inside, it might harm the mycelium. And show you why sterilization and to keep everything as clean as possible is so important. I have brought a beautiful grain spawn bag of lion's mane mushroom. And as you can see, it is totally green, taken over by contamination. So this is what we try to avoid, just to have a perfect, clean and sterile culture. I really should bring this outside. Okay, let's start with the king oyster mushroom. To add the mycelium to the grain, I'm using a scalpel, which is sterilized with a blowtorch. Just put it into the flame till it's glowing hot red. And then we're gonna start by cutting the mycelium on the agar in some slices. And then just put it into the bag while keeping the bag into the direction of the sterile air coming from the flow hood. I have seen other people using just three or four slices of petri dish to inoculate the grain spawn. But as I like to inoculate a lot of grain spawn at the same time, I'd recommend yeast at least one or two petri dishes as this increases the inoculation, the time until the grain is completely colonized. And after inoculation, I leave the bags at a dark place at my home and I try to keep the temperature above 20 degrees as this supports the mycelium to grow. Cold temperatures also work, but I think around 22 to 25 degrees, the best temperatures to accelerate the process of inoculating the whole bag. And after one week, the bag will look like this. I have brought an example of some king oyster mushroom I've just inoculated one week ago. And you can see that the mycelium started to spread. And I think in one or two more weeks, the whole grain will be colonized and this can be used to inoculate like 10 times the weight of this bag. I'm gonna show you one more close up. So basically every slice of the agar with the mycelium on top will become an inoculation point for the grain spawn. So the more inoculation points, the faster the colonizing process. That's also the reason why after adding the slices to the grain spawn, I mix everything up so that the mycelium spreads in the bag to add even more inoculation points. After you've created your own grain spawn, I'd always recommend to keep a little of the grain spawn to increase it. I've just created a small amount of grain spawn with a petri dish coming from an oyster mushroom and I left it in the glass and after a couple of weeks the mycelium grew up to the top of the glass. This mycelium is so aggressive it definitely needs a new place to multiply. After sterilizing a spoon with a blowtorch and isopropanol I just recognized that it totally failed. Then I used a smaller spoon to put it out, put it into a bag and sealed everything like as it did with the petri dishes. And here it is also very important just to press the bag afterwards to check if the bag is really sealed and there's no contamination possible. Just get sure that the only air exchange is through the filter on your filter bag. 
If you think this was helpful, I really appreciate if you leave a like and a comment, maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to keep up to date. I'm going to upload weekly and I will give an update what is actually happening with our grain spawn, how fast everything is growing and yeah, what eventually will grow out of those bags. In the next couple of weeks, there will be more tutorials on this channel, like how to build a DIY cheap laminar flow hood or an autoclave. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and hopefully see you in the next.